Good morning to our awesome kindergarten parents and students at Bethune Elementary School. This is Ms. Joyner and I am making this tutorial for all of the kindergarten students and parents to help you learn how to navigate Nearpod for next week's upcoming lessons. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up our schedule that your child's teacher sends you every week to show you how you would click on the lesson and what it will look like when you complete it. I will go ahead and complete one lesson so you can follow along with me and then I will give you some time to practice um, in the tutorial as well. So first let me go to the schedule. Here is our schedule. It's not complete yet um, to be sent to you but I want to go ahead and click the link. So here's our link. If you see if you hover over the link it tells you to press control on your keyboard, so the CTRL, and then click the link. So I press control, and then I'll click the link. It will then send me to a page that comes up like this. Now, our first step that you saw in our, um, you'll see in our PowerPoint is for you to download the app if you're using a device like an iPad, Kindle, a tablet, or your cell phone. It'll make it easier for you. If you do not download the app, it will come up with the page to ask you, do you want the app? before you see this page. So go ahead and type in your name. So I'm gonna type in my name. And then in this optional box, it will be helpful if you put your child's teacher's name. That way we it's easier for us to sort through because this activity is for all kindergarten students. And then click join session. When you click join session, the first thing you'll see is a video. So this right here on this Nearpod is a lovely video that Mr. Dobson has recorded. I'm not going to play the whole thing for the sake of time, but I'm just going to play a little bit for you to see that it will automatically click play in the Nearpod. What's going on with the kindergarten friends? After you're done with the video, you'll then click the arrow on the side. And it seems like the arrow is a little bit cut off on my screen, but when you get it, you'll see. You'll click the arrow, it'll go to the next activity. Right here is another Counting to 100 video that we have as a review for the kids. So they'll watch that video and then click the arrow for next. Now it's an iReady lesson. We know that a lot of kids have been having problems using iReady if they were using an iPad or a tablet, a Kindle or cell phones. So what this does is it brings the, the um, iReady lesson to Nearpod and it gives the kids an activity to actually complete the lesson. So now we take out that issue of them not working on those devices. You'll click go Sorry, and the lesson will start. Once they're done with the lesson, they can close it out and then click the arrow to go to what's next. Now we have practice activities for the kids to complete in the Nearpod. Pay close attention because I want to show you how you use the tools in Nearpod. Down here at the bottom, you see different types of writing tools. Um, so for instance, here's a drawing tool. You can click that tool, choose the color pen that you want, what size pen, so let's say I'm going to choose red, and I can go in here and actually write my answer on the Nearpod. You can also click the text tool, um, and you'll have blue, and you can do the same thing. So you can go over here and write on the Nearpod. Of course, this one is a lot smaller. Then I can choose to draw. Drawing is my favorite, as you can tell. I can choose the drawing tool again and continue to answer questions on the Nearpod. It does not have to be perfect. As long as we can see the answers that the students are putting on there, that is fine. But once you are done, you need to click Submit to make sure that the work is saved. Right here also is an eraser. So let's say, for instance, your child um, put an answer on, like, oh no, I made a mistake. Here's an eraser tool. They can click and it'll go and erase what they put and they can put the right answer. So let's go ahead and put an answer there. And then I click submit to make sure it goes to my child's teacher. Then the same thing, here's another page. Now if you notice, it will not let you click submit until you actually put work on the page. So you go ahead and I'm not gonna even do the problem. I'm just gonna type something here real quick so I can click submit so I can move on. I'll click submit. 
And same thing. Here's some more problems they can work on. So we have a mixture of addition and subtraction. So go on. On this activity is asking you to color code the problem. So here is for every answer is one, you color it orange, two, you color it green, three, yellow, four, red, and five, blue. So this is one plus one. So we know the answer is two. So I think I have my green and I'll go on and I can circle, I can color, I can do whatever I want to show that I know that that answer is two. My suggestion would be once you pick your color, go and try to find all the answers that equal that number so you don't have to have to keep switching back and forth. Click submit and go on. This one is asking you the same thing, circle or put a line through or check mark with all the problems that equal the sum at the top. So I'm going to do some so I can move on. Now here's the last part. Here's our quiz. At the end of each lesson, you will find some sort of quiz for your child to complete. It's just a quick assessment for us as teachers to make sure your child understood the concept. Right now, most of these are review lessons that we've done while we were in school. So this is just to make sure that they're still brushing up on their facts and are not forgetting. So on this one, we'll go ahead and you can click an answer. It's not going to tell you if the answer is right or wrong. Um, but it will just click your answer and then you click next down here at the bottom. You click another answer and click next. Right here, you click next. And then, and I hope I'm doing these right because I'm not really looking at the problems. You click submit. Remember this submit is key to making sure this activity is complete. So click submit. Just ask for a little fun activity. It says draw a picture showing how much you enjoyed today's lesson. Now go get on iReady if you can and complete at least 20 minutes of your pathway. If you notice, there is this bar right here. Unfortunately, my screen, let me see if I can move my thing. There we go. If you notice, there's a bar right here. Whenever there's writing on the page, I try to make sure that we have audio as well, just in case the kids are not sitting with an adult or older student who can read, so they can help them. So you'll click play. Now draw a picture. So once you are done, you can go outside and look at the So on any page that there's some writing on there, check and see if there is a play button next to it to help to make sure that your child will have that audio for them just in case somebody is not there to read. And this page is just a fun free for all for the kids. I just want them to draw a picture, just a little fun activity to say how much they enjoyed it. They can draw what they like. They can draw smiley faces. They can draw anything. This is just an assessment to come back to us as teachers. Then click submit. Once you are done, that will, you get this screen and that shows you that your Nearpod is over. You can then close out of that box and then go to iReady to complete, or iRead if this is for ELA, to complete your allotted minutes for the day. If you cannot get on iReady or iRead, don't stress about it. Um, just you haven't completed this shows that you are still trying to get some work done. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to any of the teachers on the kindergarten team and we will help you as best as we know how. After this video, you will now have some practice to be able to play with the drawing tool and to be able to play with the different tools in Nearpod so you'll be ready to start your lesson on Monday. Hope you have a great rest of your day and just know that we miss you guys and can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.